In this video, we're going to review how to carve tiki's out of Wondercut linoleum using linoleum gouges. So just as a review, we transferred a drawing of a tiki from paper to our linoleum by putting pencil on the back of the drawing, taping it down to the linoleum, and then tracing over our pencil lines with a pen. This pressed the pencil from the back side of the paper onto the linoleum. And now we're carving away all of the area that we want to be lower so that our tiki stands out as being higher. So when carving, always place your linoleum on a bench hook and use a forward pressure motion with your linoleum gouge so that you're always pressing the blade away from you, not towards you and not to the side. We have two different sizes of blades to work with. We have size three, which is the larger size, and you can see a little number three on the blade if you look closely. And then we have a size one, which is very thin. You probably won't use the size one very often, to be honest. Last class, when we started carving, you were instructed to create a contour line around your tiki's head and then to remove as much linoleum as possible around the tiki. You're going to continue to remove areas today that you want to be lower. We are going to create a black print of our tiki before we paint the linoleum. So as you can see in this picture here, the black ink is going to be picked up only on the high raised areas. Everywhere you carve will not receive any of the ink. So use that to your advantage and think about your linoleum and the way that you're carving in black and white. So everything that you remove is white. It gets no color. Everything that you leave is going to receive color. Okay, both, uh, both when you print, because when you print, you'll print with black ink, and also when you paint, the paint will go onto the raised area of your tiki. Now, when you're carving, last class, you were instructed to carve parallel lines into your background so that you could create the illusion of wood grain. Continue to do this today if you haven't finished this yet, and make sure that you remove plenty of the linoleum right around that contour edge of your tiki. You wanna make sure that you have a clean break between where you have your tiki head and where you have the background. Watch right here as I'm carving an additional line, nice and deep, right around the edge of my tiki head. This line will help me get a clear print when I do my block printing, and it'll also help when I paint with color on the linoleum so that the colors I'm using don't want to touch and get into the background. Now, for the area inside of your tiki, if you're wondering what are you supposed to carve and what are you supposed to leave, I would suggest, number one, carve on all of your pencil lines. Then also think about carving out some additional areas. Maybe there's some areas that you want to remove completely, like you saw that I did inside of the mouth. Or maybe you'll realize that you should add some additional patterns or details to the tiki that you drew. If your tiki is looking kind of plain and you see some large areas that don't have anything in them, then Add some patterning, add some references to nature, some leaves, some waves, some fish. You can draw directly on your linoleum just using a pencil if you wanna try some things out too. Just remember, we want our linoleum carvings to be able to stand alone as works of art. While we're going to print them using black ink, we're also going to paint them, and the actual linoleum tiki's are going to be transformed into vibrantly colored tiki's that will be a nice bas relief sculpture for you to display.